A common strategy for authenticating uh, to perform Git operations on your remote GitHub repo is by using an SSH key. Uh, you're definitely going to want to use this because it is a great way um, to work with Git uh, in your local developer environment. It's definitely the way that I like to use it as opposed to using a personal access token. But uh, the way it works is you'll have to generate out your own SSH uh, key using a command like SSH keygen for Linux. There's probably different ways, but that's the way that I know. And specifically an RSA key. I'm sure there's different kinds of uh, keys that uh, Git, uh, GitHub will take, but that's the one that I know. And so the idea here is that we have our computer, our local computer, and then we have the server, which is uh, GitHub. And the idea is that there will be a copy of the public and private key on your local computer. And then on GitHub, you'll store that private key. And so the, the process of authenticating and authorizing is gonna go like this. So the server checks to see if you have the same public key. If you both have the same public key, it's gonna send you a challenge message. That challenge message contains the public key uh, encrypted. And so it's gonna send that on over. And then uh, the idea is that um, the private key on the local computer will decrypt it. And then it will be able, to, uh, if, once it decrypts that message, it will then take the private key and do something there and then send back a, well, it won't do something, it'll send back a signature um, and then that signature will be sent to GitHub and then they'll verify it and that will establish that connection, allowing you to use SSH keys to get clone or push or, or things like that. Uh, under your account settings, SSH and GPG keys is where you'll be able to add the public keys. So here you can see I have a couple SSH keys in one of my uh, GitHub accounts and it's there under SSH and GPG keys. And when you want to go use um, or clone a, a repo, you're gonna really want to use that SSH style address. It will not, not work with the HTTPS one or the GitHub CLI one. Technically it will work with the GitHub CLI one, but uh, that's what you're gonna wanna do there. So there you go.